We have uh, committed this entire day here at WTOL to talking about organ and tissue donation. Yeah, it's a really important topic, something that you really should plan for. We talked about having that conversation with your family so everyone knows your wishes and what you would uh, like done. And also what we've been talking a lot about the appreciation for that gift should you be uh, lucky enough to receive it. So we continue our virtual Donate Life Green Chair sit-in. Mm -hmm. And we've got Daneric Black who's joining us now. Daneric, we understand you received a life-saving organ donation. Tell us a little bit about your story. Well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, in 2015, I realized that I would need a life-saving organ donation. And uh, I ended up in Cleveland Clinic uh, in the ICU waiting on a heart. Um, I spent 49 days in the ICU, and it was getting pretty desperate there for a while. They had decided that they were going to give me a total artificial heart, which means they would remove my heart, put a fake heart in, and hook me up to what can be considered a, a generator just to keep me alive because there hadn't been a lot of donations that month. And fortunately, I was able to receive my gift of life uh, on February 26th, which was one day before my 45th birthday. And you consider your heart donor your hero. You are thankful that this person kind of entrusted you uh, with their heart. And, and you're thankful every day, is that right? Every single day. I mean, I don't have a bad day. Every day that I wake up and have an opportunity to work and spend time with my family and watch my daughter grow, continue to be active in my community, uh, do a lot of sports. I know that I wouldn't be able to do that if my donor hadn't decided that on the worst day he was ever going to have, that he wanted to help somebody. That's the only reason that I'm still here. And talk to us really quickly. We have about 30 seconds about how your life perspective has changed after you received this gift. Well, I just, like I said, I don't have a bad day. I really appreciate life. Um, if it wasn't for Donate Life and the work that they do, along with the American Heart Association and other organizations who donate uh, their time, energy, and efforts to making sure that people like myself have an opportunity to receive the gift of life, I wouldn't be here. So every day for me is a blessing, and I just look forward to opportunities like this to talk about the important work that they do. Thank you so much. We've got more stories, more interviews. You can find them on WTOL.com.